Shabbat Shalom. I would like to dedicate my words this week to my very wonderful friend of blessed memory, Dr. Charles Raphael, who passed away this past week. Chuck Raphael introduced me to two of my great loves in the world, golf and single malt scotch. And to, for him, I will be eternally grateful for those things. But our golfing matches were anything but frivolous. You see, Chuck was an expert in Maimonides. That was his scholarship. That's what he taught at Stern College for women. So our golfing expeditions were always filled with discussions about Torah, Maimonides, philosophy, and all of the answers to all of life's many existential questions. Chuck taught me a beautiful thing about this week's Torah portion, Kiddoshim. Kiddoshim, Kadosh, means holy. And holy might be one of the most difficult words to define in the English language. Those of you who are here on Shabbat will be fortunate enough to hear our Bar Mitzvah, Max Young's definition of holiness, which I think is both amazing and pretty articulate for a 13-year-old. I want to share with you how Chuck looked at this week's Torah portion. He said that we get bogged down sometimes in the pursuit of holiness, when what we really need to be do is practicing it, listening to what our heart tells us as to what holy truly is. I'll explain. Chuck says that when you're listening to this week's Torah portion, you have to hear it through two ears. In one ear, you hear the general, be holy. In the other ear, you see, hear the specific, love your neighbor as yourself. Don't put a stumbling block before the blind. You need to, in one fell swoop, in one moment, hear both. How do we do that? Well, I think in reality, in day-to-day -day life, we do that by always knowing that as a Jew we have a commandment to be holy, but by also walking through life and simply knowing what is good and what is right. And that's what holiness is. Recognizing it, knowing it, and even standing up in the face when we don't see it. So to my friend Chuck Raphael, I will miss you greatly, but I am eternally grateful to you for all that you have taught me. Shabbat Shalom.